What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created these really cute Valentine's Day nails. So this design was loosely inspired by a design I saw by Lewis Escape on Instagram. And I'm not even kidding guys, if you have not checked him out, I highly suggest you do so. He is an absolute nail wizard. So I obviously had to simplify the design because let's face it, he has more talent in his pinky than I have in my whole body. So if you guys would like to see my take on his design, then just keep on watching. So guys, diving right in with today's video and for today's nails, I'm going to be using my flexi hand and as you can see, I've already popped in the nail tips and just went ahead and snipped off the end so I have a nice tapered nail shape and then I'm first going in with a layer of Ink London's Eye Gel and Clear and I'm using my um, CND Crystal Touch Gel Brush in number 6. So as you can see I'm just applying this as a thin layer to the nail and then while that self levels because this gel does a fabulous job of just self leveling into a beautiful shape. So I'm just going to leave that to self level and then I go ahead using um, Ink London's Base Elevation and I'm going to be applying this to the pointer finger and also the pinky. And then onto that wet gel that I've just applied to the middle finger, I'm going in with a and Glitter's I Think I Want to Marry You Hearts and Crosses mix. And then I'm just using all those little hearts. As you can see, they come in lots of different sizes and they are predominantly a really nice Aurora colour. They also have silver holographic as well as red as well. So as you can see, I'm going in with various sizes and I'm just filling up the bottom half of that clear tip. And then when I was happy with the placement of those hearts, I do go ahead and fully cure that nail for 60 seconds just to make sure the light penetrates underneath that glitter and everything is secured to that nail. Then I'm going in with Ink London's I-83, which is an absolutely stunning sort of dark mauve pink. It is simply beautiful. So I'm doing two coats of this onto the pointer and the finger, and then I cure each layer for 30 seconds. And then going back in with that Ink London's Eye Gel and Clear, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that glitter finger. So my first step was to go in with a really thin layer of that and then onto that wet layer, I take my bigger bead of gel and then going from side to side, I just fully encapsulate that nail. So I have a really nice even nail from side wall to side wall and then from the cuticle area to the tip. But you do want to remember that you don't need as much product at the tip of the nail. We just want to make sure that all of the glitter is encapsulated and that the apex is in the right area. And then once I had tweaked it and left it to self-level a little bit, I popped that back into my LED light for 60 seconds to fully cure that part of the design. And then we move on to the pointer finger and the pinky again. So as you can see, I'm going in with a, a Glitter's Aurora Pigment. It is absolutely stunning. I just got it in my recent haul and I'm not even kidding, I am adoring it over this pink shade. So I first go ahead and just dab that onto the inhibition layer of that gel. And then I work it in with my pinky and then use a silicone tool just to burnish that pigment into the nail so I get a really nice shiny appearance and there's no lumps and bumps. So now that we have our base layers all prepared, I'm now going to go ahead and start working on the nail art. So as you can see, I've switched over to a fine detail brush and my Sugar Effect Gel from Indigo Nails. And I'm just going to go ahead and start creating a border around that whole nail. So I first started by adding a line where the clear part of my nail and the glitter meets. And then I just go ahead and surround that whole nail. And then when I was happy with the border, I switch over to a slightly thicker brush and then I fill in the top part of that nail. And at this part of the nail design, I did do two coats and I want to make sure that this is fully opaque for the next part of my nail art. So I do go ahead, like I said, and do two coats, curing each for 30 seconds in between. Yeah. 
Then for the ring finger, I'm going to be doing sort of the same design. So I first started by switching over to a thinner detail brush and that same Indigo Nails Sugar Effect Gel and I'm going to draw a heart in the centre of this nail. So I just take my time to make sure I've got the shape the way I want. And you could always go in with um, a detail brush or a slightly thicker gel brush and some acetone and tidy it up as you go along. But I like to just make sure I've got the rough shape and then when I was happy with that shape, I go in with my bigger gel brush and fill that heart in completely with that white gel. And then when I was happy with that, I fully cured that nail for 30 seconds just to make sure everything was dry. And then my next step was to go in with Indigo Nails um, Matte Top Coat. And the reason that I did this was because it, uh, for the next part of my nail design, you need a matte surface. But I also wanted the inside of my um, little hearts to be completely matte. So I didn't want any shininess or anything like that. But if you want the hearts to come through your clear nail a lot more prominent, then I would just completely scrub skip the matte top coat. So now for the fun part of the nail design, I'm going to be marbling the white parts of these nails. So I first went in with two of these touch lit alcohol ink pens, one in Gardenium and the other in Vivid Pink. And then I switched over to these alcohol inks that I got from AliExpress. I'm using the red one, the clear one and also a purple one. And I'm just basically adding these to the nail and also using some isopropyl alcohol and my gel brush to create a really nice purpley red marble on this white parts of the nail. And any that I got onto my clear base, as you can see, I'm just using some alcohol on my brush to make sure that part of the nail is nice and clear and I do that on both of those nails. So these alcohol inks that I got from AliExpress are specific for nail designs and they are absolutely amazing. I only got three colours, the transparent, the purple and the red and I completely regretted it so I went and bought the rest. So I definitely will be doing a review on these in an up and coming video because I'm not kidding, they are absolutely bomb. And then with that red ink pen, I'm just going in and adding a little bit of extra and this is what my marble design looks like once I got finished. And now I'm going in with a layer of Ink London's Pro Finish Gel Top Coat just so I have a really nice surface on that marble nail. And I do the same with the ring finger as well. And as you can see with that, I've just gone ahead and outlined that heart again with some of that white gel just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then going in with Kiki London's Halo Ring from their Platinum range, which is a really nice silver gel polish. I'm just going ahead and cut, basically colouring in the rest of that nail. So I'm just making sure I tidy up around that heart where some of the alcohol had leaked over. And it's great that that gel just completely covered any of my mistakes. And then I go in and do the same with the little box that I've created on the ring finger. And then when I had applied that part of the silver, I do go ahead and fully cured that for 30 seconds. So I must admit, this was the point where my design completely left anything that Lewis Escape had did. He basically did the same sort of um, hearts coming through in the clear tip. I did that and then the rest of the design was my own. I just felt like when he did his design, it was far too out of my comfort zone for me to try. So I cheated and went in with some bling. So as you can see, I've added bling around where I put that silver gel polish. And now I'm going in with Love and Marriage 02 by Lena Nail Art Supplies. I'm also using Mundodionis white stamping polish and a clear jelly stamper to go ahead and just add a little tiny love sign into the middle of that heart just so it wasn't completely barren. And then I went ahead and sealed in that little stamping design I just did with some Pro Finish Gel Top Coat. Then moving back onto the middle finger, I'm going to be outlining where I added that silver sort of little box. I'm using Classic Red by Ink London and I'm just taking my time to make sure I am tidying up any of the mistakes I previously made before I pop that into my LED light to fully cure.
And now I'm going to go ahead and start adding a little bit of bling to this nail and for that I'm going to be using my Ink London Pick and Place, my Vixen Brush On Nail Glue and also some Swarovski crystals that I got in a basic starter kit from the Nail and Beauty link. So in it you got 518 pieces of Swarovski crystals both in crystal and also AB. I'm going to be using the AB ones today. So as you can see I started with an SS12 in the middle and then to the side of that I went with with two SS9s and then to the side of those I went with SS7. So as you can see I just went ahead and added those across the cuticle area and then underneath that I went in with a mini navette also in AB and then to the side of that I once again put in some SS9 I believe crystals to each side. And then moving back to the ring finger, I'm going to start building up that little heart area with some clear builder gel in a bottle. So I start at the top of the heart and then I go from side to side so it has a nice even coverage. And then I flip that nail upside down and allow gravity to form a really nice shape on that heart. And then I go in with a second layer and I cure each of those layers for 60 seconds. And then to finish off my nail design, I'm going in with some Ink London's Pro Finish Gel Top Coat. I swear by this stuff, it is absolutely amazing. If you could look past the smell, it is an outstanding top coat. Such a glossy finish it leaves on the nails and I really do love it. So I'm going in and I'm applying a nice thin coat of this to all of the nails, even over that heart. And then I fully cured the, um, that hand for 60 seconds again. And then obviously with this top coat being no wipe, I didn't have to wipe away any sticky layer or anything like that. And if you were working on a real client, you could just go right in with your cuticle oil and that would be your service complete. So guys, this is what the nails look like once everything is done and I am absolutely in love with the end result. It has just got that right amount of Valentine's Day with a little bit of everyday wear put in there as well. And remember guys, if you haven't checked out Lewis Escape's Instagram, I highly suggest you do so. The guy is an absolute nail legend. His designs are flawless and I could only dream to be even half as good as he is one day and you will most definitely find serious nail envy on his page. And remember guys, if you are interested in any of the products that I have used in today's video, go ahead and check my description box and I will leave all of the names and the colours linked down there for you as well as a discount code for a and Glitter so you can get some money off your next order. And finally guys, that is us reached the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed my take on these Instagram inspired Valentine's Day nails and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, I would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!